Hi everyone, this is Janet. I hope you all had a great weekend. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm showing you some pours that I did at the beginning of my fluid art journey, um, where I poured over a vase, which was uh, situated on top of a tile. And I stumbled across a box of vases in my studio this weekend and thought, well, you know what, let's give it another try. And so I did, but instead of using a tile, this time I'm actually pouring on top of a canvas. Now my colors that I'm using today are the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black, mixed with a little bit of Artist Loft Ready Mixed Metallic Black, the Deco Art Elegant Finish Splendid Gold, and the Deco Art Dazzling Metallic White Pearl. And when I did my previous pours, I did not have a split cut. And so I would layer the colors into my cup and pour over the base that way. But since I have this split cup now, I decided to go ahead and give it a try. And so what you're gonna see is I'm going to actually do two full split cups on top of this vase. And so that way I can ensure that I have complete coverage over the vase itself. It's a little tricky pouring on a canvas versus a tile because the tile is heavier and solid and the canvas kind of has a little bit of give here and there. And so trying to keep everything balanced and making sure that it doesn't topple over is, it, it can be kind of tricky, but <laughs> quite the challenge really. Um, so what I do is I go ahead and I pour. Now this is real time. Uh, when I go to fill up the split cup again, um, I'll speed that process up just a little bit for you, but then I'm gonna go back to, to slow, you know, slow it down to real time again so that you can see how, you know, the paint covers uh, the vase itself. And it's, it's kind of a little bit of a slow process. Uh, you do need to wait several minutes uh, to where the paint is, it stops kind of dripping before you go ahead and very carefully remove it from the canvas. And um, so, and sometimes you have to help it along the way and you'll, you'll see me do that a little bit. But this process is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. It's very calming. And the end result on both the vase and the canvas turned out incredible. Um, I'm, I don't know if I mentioned I was going to throw in a peacock teal color um, and at the last minute decided I didn't want to go ahead and use that color and I'm really glad I didn't. So anyways, I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video at the end of the um, process I do bring you in for a close-up on both the uh, vase and the, the canvas and all of the colors and my pouring medium um, are listed in the description box down below. I, I basically used one part paint to one part Floetrol and one part GAC 800. I did not add any water to these paints and nothing else other than the Floetrol and the GAC 800. So um, feel free to have a peek at, uh, at the list of, of everything in the description box down below. So again, if you're new here, welcome. I invite you to subscribe. Please guys, give me a thumbs up, share my video, comment down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. And until next time, guys, please stay safe, take care, and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.